as far as the black women, um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a matter of color. I think it, it probably has to do with the, the female thing. Like, deep down inside, a lot of women, we want to see a woman in office. I mean, we, we know that a woman can do it and can handle it and be scared when, she's, when it's that time in a month. I want to hear about racism in America. I mean, these things are happening regularly. They're happening all the time. We need to address it. America has a serious race problem in here. I want to, I want to talk about um, the prison industrial complex, this fake rehabilitation crap. There is no rehabilitation mm -hmm. because it's like prison is like a, a um, it's like a revolving door. They go in, they come back in. There is no rehabilitation. I want to talk about things like that. I'm not hearing anybody address it at all. That's a problem. Who would I vote, vote for with this election? I mean, that's a, um, it's a serious question because it seems as if, you know, I, I, people feel embarrassed to say who they vote for. Being a black person, you're feeling a tremendous amount of pressure to vote for Obama. But I actually voted for Hillary Clinton. And, you know, I say that, you know, when, when people say they didn't vote for Obama, you get all these boos and black folks are like, boo, boo, turn on your black card. But I want to say the reason I voted for Clinton is because I just remember the 90s, you know, and I felt like money was really good in the 90s, you know, and I feel like because of Bush, we're in this recession and the money is tight and, and everything has completely fallen apart. Um, also with Hillary Clinton, um, I like her health care plan. You know, I've listened to Obama's plan, I've listened to, to Hillary's plan, and I know that Hillary has been working on this health care thing since when she was working with the Children's Defense Fund. I mean, this is something that has really been dear to her and close to her heart. And I want somebody in office that, that has a plan for universal health care, starting with the kids. You know, I have a three-year-old stepson at home. You know, he has asthma. He has his own set of health problems. I need to know that somebody is working on something where everybody is going to be covered. I have a sick grandmother who's in and out of the hospital. I'm concerned about health care these days, you know, and I'm one of the main people to be complaining about uh, the cost of it and, and, and this and that and, and the shady doctors and, and, the, and the insurance companies and they, and they slide in all these different uh, fees that come out of nowhere. I want somebody's skills to go into the office to clean up what George Bush has done he has completely killed the economy, killed this country. And I want somebody that, that can go up in there with experience and, and, and clean it up. Not, not knocking Obama. I think Obama's a great guy. I think he, he, he gives really wonderful speeches. But for quite a long time, I had a hard time figuring out where he stood on certain issues. Um, he seemed to speak in big, fluffy and colorful words. But to me, I didn't hear enough specifics. And when it came down to voting here in New York, um, at that time, I still wasn't sure on where he stood. I was a little bit closer, but not as close I was to, to, to feeling as concrete and uh, spe specific as I felt about Hillary. So I voted for Hillary Clinton. Now, if Obama were to make it to uh, the presidential primary, say he kicked Hillary's butt like he is now, then yeah, I'll support the man. Mm -hmm. You know, anything to, to get McCain out of office and, and, and not have him push forward the ideals that he seems to be supporting that are George Bush ideals, like staying in Iraq for 100 years. That's ridiculous. Thanks, man.